Now, therefore, uh, what I'm saying is that the fundamental properties of matter are moving in this order of unfoldment. And I give you an idea. Let's suppose we go back to that analogy and I put in a particle and turn it a certain number of times. I call it n times. I put a particle in a slightly different position and turn it n more times. The first one is 2n. We go on, the third is n, 2n, 3n. We put in a large number, and we now turn it backward fairly rapidly. One droplet after another emerges, and it looks as if a particle is continuously crossing the space. Right. Now, I say that's the image that I want to give as to what a particle really is in quantum mechanics, that, that sort of movement. And uh, therefore, the particle is present in the whole, and it is merely unfolding and manifesting as a separate thing, but its actual existence is not separate. It is an abstraction. That droplet, that separate droplet, is an abstraction uh, due to our perception, right? 